Well, spring is finally here and we've uh, got a little bit more time to work in the garden and the first thing I have to do is tidy up because even though I've had some good veggies growing and lasted me throughout the, the winter, um, I never really had time to clean up and weed and all the type of things that makes the garden pretty. So that's what this episode is going to be about. I'm Justin Harnish and this is Off My Block. There are good signs that spring is actually here. The asparagus and the tulips are doing their thing, but to make my garden into my own slice of paradise once more, there is a lot to be done. The paths need to be weeded and so do the raised beds, not to mention mowing the lawns. Well, one of the first things I'm going to do uh, before I really get into cleaning up is to reposition my strawberries. They were down in a bit of a shady spot and they didn't really get as much sun as they needed to last year, so they didn't really get that much of a harvest. So I've got this nice little place here full of sun, still got some spring onions and some garlic in it, but they'll come out fairly shortly in the next few months. But getting the strawberries planted in here is job number one. Came back out again for the last time. I lost my mind again somewhere inside, and I don't need help. Clean up the root ball and separate the crowns. This will give you more strawberry plants. Am I sleeping? Am I dreaming? Will you pinch me? Getting your kids to help is not only fun family time, but will teach them the basics of gardening for when they too want to grow their own fruit and veg. Strawberries are a favourite for kids and as they watch the fruit grow it gets them more excited about eating fresh produce. And I'm sorry And it hurts me just to see Everything that we could be Everything that I gave up I won't forget the fall That brought me here But I forgot When it comes to weeding the path, you'll be glad you put down the weed mat under the stones. Spring in Northland is renowned for its temperature fluctuations through the day, so one minute you're wearing shorts, next minute you're wearing sweatpants. When it comes to a great looking property, first impressions are very important, so the front entrance deserves a lot of consideration.
I'm on my feet again. I guess it's time. You've got your the entrance to Casa Harnish is also the start of the shade garden. The rubbish pile from what was left of the old kitchen and discarded junk in the garden from the people who lived there before me is slowly getting smaller. In my continuing efforts in the shade garden, I'm skimming the top layer of dirt. The idea here is to start with a clean slate. At this point, the only plan I have for a shade garden is in my head, which is just fine by me. It's a work in progress, an evolving art piece. Crazy like I never cared at all. Now I'm wheeling, I'm not feeling much of anything I'm dealing with. I know that you'll be happy just to know that I have gone. And it hurts you just to be. That's it for this episode. Join me next episode as I continue to beautify the property, work on the shade garden and see what's growing in the veggie patch. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, remember, keep calm and garden on.